Right, we're in the process of building a shed, so this is the entrance to the driveway and I'll take you up to where the shed's going to be. Now the process involves first of all finding a suitable site and we found this one which is pretty flat and level, 5 by 7 which will take the shed. We're going to have a 0.8 of a meter gap on that side and at the back we're going to have a meter gap between the fence and the shed. Now the first step was to go to a builder and discuss the design of the shed, give them the dimensions and the site. Then uh, because we live in a complex we had to apply to the administrators of the complex for permission to put the shed up. Once that was done then the builders have taken responsibility for getting it approved by the council and once that's done, uh, then the builders will come on site. And I'll show you all the stages as we go through them. Now the builders have kindly provided us with this basic set of plans, which gives you a good overall view of what we're going to be doing. Uh, this is the floor plan here. The dimensions are five meters by seven meters with a roller door in the front. And uh, there's two clear panels in the roof uh, near the back there to provide a bit of light in that area. Um, then this is the front elevation with the roller door. This is the back elevation which will be solid. Uh, then the right side elevation is solid. The left side elevation has got a pedestrian door. Right, some basic levelling has been done and now we're just waiting for some crusher dust that's going to do the final levelling, about a hundred millimetres of crusher dust on top of this and once that's level that'll be the base for the concrete slab for the shed. Nicely leveled to within 10 millimeters.
the shed is now complete. I just wanted to summarize uh, some of the building processes that we went through to get to this point. And coming around the side, we've got the gutter and we've got a pedestrian door. And the gutter has got pipes connecting it to a rainwater tank so we can store 5,000 litres of rainwater. And I'll just show you the back of the shed where we've got a pipe coming from the other gutter on the other side also coming into the rainwater tank. Right, then looking at the construction, uh, we started off with a reinforced concrete floor, 100 millimetres thick, except uh, where we've got these footings to support the, the main frame. And these are set in a 300 millimetre deep concrete pillar, which is cast as part of the whole slab. So very, very solid. And these footings are U-shaped, so it goes from there down into the concrete quite a long way and then comes across in the concrete to make a U and comes up this side. And these are bolted to the main frame. And the main frame, not very thick metal, probably about two and a half millimetres thick, uh, but this profile of a C shape uh, gives it a lot of strength. And of course it's galvanised as well. And then the uprights of the, of the main frame is connected to the roofing section with a large bracket which gives it a little bit of movement so that you can get everything square just in case your concrete's not 100% level or whatever. And uh, then joins in the middle again with another bracket uh, and on the other side as well a bracket and then coming down obviously into the footing brackets. And the purlons are about 90 millimetres wide and the screws that attach the wall sheets you can see coming through in these places here. And while we're talking about screws, I just love these. Um, they've got a hex head um, and then they've got a, a drill which taps the initial hole in the steel and then a, th a self-tapping thread and then a nuprian washer at the top for the, out, for the ones that are on the outside so that it makes a good seal. The inner ones on the galvanised are just a solid one like that. So these are really handy and they work very well, very fast. Drill your hole, tap your thread, tighten up and it's fantastic. Now the first thing they do on the slab is to put this flashing on which starts on the slab there comes out a little way, then drops down, and then comes out again with a little lip here. So the wall sheets actually hang below the level of the slab. They come to there. So that forms a perfect weather seal. Um, so any water that runs down hits this little flange and runs off into the bottom there. And that flange is attached all the way around with these little concrete studs. And we've got some clear roof sheets on the deep end so that you've got a bit of natural light coming into the shed as well. Now I've finally moved into my shed and my workshop is now fully functional. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like and share it and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And if you've got any comments or questions, we'd love to hear from you. Just scroll right down to the bottom and you'll find the comment section there. Thank you very much for watching.